Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. In this video, we will see some of the prominent endpoints in oncology clinical trials. So let us assume that a subject has been diagnosed with cancer and there is a clinical trial ongoing uh, for that cancer and the subject has chosen to participate in that clinical trial. So while the subject is on treatment in that clinical trial, so what could happen to the subject's cancer? So that may remain stable or it may progress further or the subject may achieve some partial response uh, or the subject may achieve complete response or the subject may die while he or she is on the study. So there are five prominent endpoints in oncology clinical trials. The first one is overall survival. Second one is progression free survival. Next one is time to progression. And the fourth one is disease free survival. Fifth one is objective response. There can be some other variants of these endpoints, but I am only covering the five majorly used endpoints. So what does overall survival mean? So overall survival represents the time from randomization. So subject would be randomized to one of the possible treatment arms in the study. So the date of randomization and then from that date, the time from randomization till death of the subject. So the death could be of any cause. So it could be even an automobile accident or the death could be because of the uh, disease under study. So the overall survival represents the time from randomization to death of the subject. So next one is progression free survival. So what does progression free survival mean? So progression free survival, let's use a different color for this. So for a subject, what can happen is who is participating in a clinical trial. So there can be death. So without a documented progression before the death happened or there can be progression and there can be progression followed by death. So PFS represents the time from randomization to progression or death from any cause. So PFS is nothing but the time from progression or death from any cause. If a subject experienced progression and also death, so we would be considering the minimum of those two. And if a subject experienced only death, so that will still be considered as the uh, progression free survival. And if a subject only experienced progression but don't, no death, so, so that time of progression would be considered for PFS. So when experienced both, so minimum of those two would be used. So progression free survival is the time from randomization to progression of the disease or death from any cause. So the next thing is our time to progression. So here it clearly is representing the time from randomization to progression of the disease. Time from randomization to progression of the disease. And the next one is our disease free survival. So there can be some treatments like radiotherapy or surgery wherein the treatment or the cancer could be totally uh, removed. So at that time the subject would remain disease free. So which means the total disease is removed. So from that point how long the subject remains free of the disease without having another progression or presence of disease again. So what would this mean is like, so there can be some treatment which would uh, at one point remove the entire uh, disease from the body. And from that point, our disease free survival period begins and it will be measured until the disease recurs or progresses. Uh, it's not progression actually, it only recurs. So the time from the subject when the subject has become disease free and till the disease recurs or death. So this is disease free survival. And the last one is objective response. So we have seen that there can be cases wherein the subjects may achieve partial response or complete response while the subject is on treatment. So objective response actually captures the number of or proportion of subjects achieving proportion of subjects achieving CR or PR. CR stands for complete response, PR stands for partial response. There can be cases wherein the sub, uh, studies may be interested in achieving or uh, 
getting the objective response as the number of proportion of subjects achieving only CR or a combination of CR and PR as well. So these are some of the major endpoints used in oncology clinical trials and the definitions of them. So let's quickly recap. So overall survival is the time from randomization to death of the subject from any cause and progression free survival is the earliest of the time from randomization to the earliest date of progression or death from any cause and time to progression is the time from randomization to the progression of the disease and disease free survival is the time from when the subject became disease free and till the time the disease recurs within the subject and the objective response is the proportion of subjects achieving a complete or partial response so these are some of the main endpoints in oncology clinical trials thank you for watching and keep learning